want to welcome you deep down in the pit, home of the 19th ranked New Mexico Lobos, 18 and 3, facing off against the Boise State Broncos, 14 and 6, live from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Derek Clark here along with my partner, former Iowa standout Jess Settles. And New Mexico has been one of the hottest teams in the country. They've been blowing people out left and right. Boise State is going to have its hands full with this team. Well, the last five games, the Lobos averaging 92 points per game. Nobody's been able to stop them. But the Broncos know how to win on the road. If anybody can challenge them, it will be Leon Rice and company. And the Lobo attack will be led by their two star guards. At the point, Jamal Mashburton Jr. and Jalen House. And they'll have their hands full with Boise State, Max Rice and Tyson Dagenhart, who both had their career highs last season against New Mexico. We're going to get right into it here. It's a mad packed house here in the pit of Albuquerque. The fans are ready, and we are too. Tip is underway, and here we go. Boy, this pit is just about as advertised, isn't it, Jess? Oh, it's wild. This is my first time here, and it's lit up, and it is so loud. Such a home court advantage, and they got a talented squad, one of the best teams of the country. And top it immediately to the basket. Can't get it, but he gets his own rebound. Well, that's what they do to you. They're averaging 12 offensive rebounds a game. you got to block them out. And how about that block by Anderson? Quick three by Abo. Not quite there. Rabo, five of his last 17 from three. He was on fire during the middle of the season. He's got to knock that down, one of the best players in this league. Well, abo has been on fire pretty much all season. He was leading the Mountain West in three-point percentage. Now he's down to six. There's Mastburn Jr. getting things started for New Mexico. And Mastburn is... More of a mid-range shooter, Jess, but he gets it started from the outside there. Well, he's four out of his last six from beyond the arc, so he's hitting that shot. And you've got to close out on him. He's just going to dominate you from the elbow. Oh, excuse me, a pump fake down inside and a great bucket there by Anderson. You know, Leon Rice was working on the pump fake with a lot of his guys. And she went, oh, get that out of here. Stanley rejects it, but it's right to the Lobos, unfortunately. House on the attack. Not quite. Both teams kind of feeling each other out here. That's not a good idea to leave that guy open. But he luckily missed that. Mashburn moving quickly. Top in, stretching the floor. Right down the middle. The big man yanks the court from downtown. And it's six to two. Well, he's fourth in the country in field goal percentage, but most of those shots are around the rim. If he's going to stretch a defense like that, it's just not fair. I don't know what you do to stop him. Manipulating is Anderson again, and oh, tough miss there. Here comes House, one of the best guards in the Mountain West. A little indecisive right now. Dent, patience, and that's bad defense. He goes right to the basket unabated to the rim and that's not what the Broncos typically do but New Mexico runs so many ball screens they put you in the spin cycle and they'll attack that open space that start for Boise State allowing this crowd to get into it and Degenhardt fumbling around he's doubled Abo says I'm just going to take it myself no good rebound controlled by the Lobos and they have dominated the early part of this game House says he's open, Master doesn't see him, and he turns it over, but it's going to be a foul. Well, JT Toppin, one of the best young players in all the land, and they're not going to guard him out there, but you might have to step up and do that. And here's Dent, this is just too easy, but he is so efficient at making everyone better. That foul was on Max Rice, who picks up his first. Oh, what a pass by Dent. Oh, give me that again. Omar Stanley. Not in my house. That's two blocks already for Stanley. And he stays vertical. Puts both hands on it. Great defensive stop. They got to clean up the boards. They got to get to the offensive end and put in some points. Uh-oh. Leon Rice doesn't like that. And he's going to have to take a timeout. 
to see if he can cool off Masburn, who's come out hot down here in the pit. A mid-range mash. This is what he does as well as anybody in the Mountain West. And this is what the Lobos have been doing over the last five games, just blowing everyone out. 14 of their 18 wins by double figures. If you're Boise State, you've got to compete on the glass. They're really good at that. Transition defense is critical. You have to take good shots, make those shots, and you can't turn the ball over. And for New Mexico, continue to crash the boards, averaging 12 offensive rebounds to, per game. And Richard Pitino told us before the game, we got to contain Degenhart. He had a career-high 28 right here last year. But New Mexico on fire again early in the Mountain West. Well, and for Leon Rice, Jess, this is just about the last thing you wanted to get down behind. And there's a look at Patino, who's, like we said, he's just got this New Mexico team humming on all cylinders. And the last thing you wanted, as I was saying, was for Boise State to get behind 10-2 early. Well, Boise State settling. They've got to get the ball inside to Stanley or Degenhardt. Let them go to work on the box. At least force a whistle. Get to the free throw line. There it is. And here's Stanley by himself. There's the double. Rice has a look. Looks him off. And they needed that. Degenhardt on the glass. Gets another opportunity. They had numbers as a leaker came out. And Max Rice makes some pay. So New Mexico tried to run. They're top five in terms of pace in the Mountain West. Playing at their fastest that they've played in, in a long time. And that's a rare miss from Mashburn. You saw that he tried to leak out there and offensive rebound and that's one way to score if your boys are staying. I go right back inside. They got to go right away before that double team comes. buzo has got a mismatch. They're going to let him play one on one. Pump fake and he got it to go. So, oh no he didn't. Did it go in? Yeah, he did. So, Boise State, for the last couple buckets, they'll need more of those. Well, after a good timeout by Leon Rice, Boise State finds himself back in this game, 10 to 7. And on Saturday on Fox, get ready for some Caitlin Clark in your life as the biggest star in college sports leads her third-ranked Iowa squad against Maryland. It all tips off Saturday at 8 Eastern on Fox. And take a look at Jamal here. True to his name, he has been mashing and burning the Boise State Broncos early on in this game. Well, there's a reason he led this conference in scoring last year, but this year he has been so much better distributing the basketball, getting teammates open. He trusts his bench now, but he comes out hunting shots. And he's been sensational. Look at the last five games. Extremely efficient. Yeah, and Mashburn, he, he, he wasn't in the lineup a lot in the non-conference portion. He spent a lot of time in and out of the lineup. And he has finally started to find his rhythm here for the Lobos. And Jess, it couldn't come at a better time. New Mexico has used, before this game, six different lineups in non-conference, but they've had the same exact lineup for all their Mountain West games. I'd say that's a good time to have all your guys ready. Absolutely. They've been so beat up, especially early in the year they were injured. And this is just what they do. Even when you have inside position, they come soaring over the top. You can't stop them on that initial thrust, and they just punish you on the glass. House harassing Anderson, trying to force him to his left hand. House, the Mountain West leader in steals. And we're going to have a away from the ball foul. Keep your eye on top in here. Richard Pitino said we knew he was good when we recruited him. We didn't know he was great. And it's just such soft hands coming right into your living room. Look, the Broncos have inside position. They're going for the ball. But number 15 was just better on that play. 15 picked up his first foul of the game. And if you're Boise State, you want to continue to attack inside. Points in the paint, play inside out. Ball was tipped, crowd reacted for unknown reasons other than just being the home crowd. Now the shot clock's winding down. Degenhardt's gonna have to do it himself. Does he see it? Left-handed push shot. Doesn't quite get it. Here come the Lobos, they're on a the track meet again. House to the basket, and a foul. Almost got it cleanly, but not quite. So if you're the Broncos and you attack the rim like that, if you come up empty, you have to sprint back. And that's all Roddy Anderson could do. House is so fast. 
He's in such good shape, and he will play 40 minutes at a high speed. We talked about transition defense being critical, but it, a lot of it comes down to good shot selection at this end for Boise State. A foul went against Roddy Anderson, who picked up his first. House made his first free throw. And averaging three steals per game. Defensively, his basketball IQ so much higher than last year. Last year he came up with a ton of skill, steals, but Richard Patino said, look, he's staying in a stance longer. He's letting the game come to him, and he's one of the best in the business. You have to protect the basketball when you're around House, or he'll take it to the other end. And House is also one of the best free throw shooters in the Mountain West at 85%. So if he goes to the line, Jess, expect it to go in. Oh, Rice hesitated. Now will fire. Oh, that was short. An air ball. And they're running again. Pressure on the rim. House. And that time he missed. Dent in the corner. Decided to go one on two. Now the Broncos see if they can take advantage. Rice has another look. Declines it this time and they reset. Stanley's got to touch the ball on the block. And he has to attack right away. They're going to play him one on one. Stanley, a much improved one on one player. Sees a double. Hago, got a corner. Got to look in the corner. Still doesn't see him. He's now got to fire the shot clock and gets the roll. Well, you talk about a guy with an elite mid range game, Mashburn as well, but. If you're the Broncos, when you catch the ball in the post, you have to go right away. The Lobos are going to attack on that first dribble, so you don't want to let him get set up. And this guy is playing so much better now, isn't he? Yeah, I'm still slow start to the season. And by slow, we mean ex extremely slow. Start of the season, just one of 27 from three-point, but he's been a different man in conference. Oh, Rice, good extra pass. That's the guy you want shooting it. Oh, but he airballs too. Uncharacteristic air balls from two of the best shooters on Boise State. House again. Over and over they attack. A three in the corner. That time is short. Wow. <laughs> there are a lot of bricks flying around in the, in the pit right now. Rice again. No hesitation. And it goes right through. What air ball he says. What shooting slump he says. I'm still Max Rice. Rice had his career high 30 last year. He is a familiar foe to this New Mexico team. Dent, sauciness. One of the most creative finishers in the entire conference and showed it right there. Just a phenomenal job with that hostage dribble there. High ball screen, kept the defender on his back, felt the defense, and then attacked. Megan Hart double teams. Does it matter? No. So that pump fake, Jess, we saw a lot of them working on that in the shoot around early on, did we not? Well, the Lobos, I mean, they will block shots. They blocked five a game. So that pump fake yeah. is a key strategy to this game. You've got a pump fake, get them off their feet, and then go through them. There's a switch now. Broncos trying to rotate, and there's going to be a foul on the three. And that's two on Anderson. Well, you've got to keep Dent out of the paint. A lot easier said than done. They've had no answer for him. There's the hostage trouble. He gets in there. The nice scoop comes down again on the next one and kicks it out. But this is what he's been doing. What a sensational play. And here's a look at the last five games here for New Mexico, and uh, as you can tell by some of these scores, they have been poetically waxing teams straight out of whatever building that they have been playing in. No one hotter than this New Mexico team right now, and take a look at that. I mean, when you talk about four players clicking on all cylinders, I mean, that, that's a hard team to beat when you got those four guys locked in the way they are. And by the way, that's only on offense. They've got five different guys this year that have already had 25 points or more in a game. I mean, you think about that, and those are their weapons, but they've got guys coming off the bench who can fill it up. They block shots, they defend, they turn you over. 10 steals a game, they force 16 turnovers, and when they're here at home, they sprint down the court, find open teammates. Their confidence at an all-time high. I call games around the country, and they're one of the top five teams in the country over the last couple weeks, and they're off to another good start. Now, if you're Boise State, 
Like you keep rebounding, you keep defending. They've weathered this early storm. Boise State, more road wins in the Mountain West over the last three years than any other team in the league. So they're not afraid of this. So they dodged a small bullet there as Amsil went two of three from the line. But the problem now is their starting point guard, Anderson, has got two fouls, and he is in trouble. They'll bring in Jace Whiting off the bench early. And New like we said, New Mexico, they're great on offense. But the thing about the New Mexico guards is Donovan Dent and Jalen House are both top five in the league in steals. So when you have guys cooking on offense and that can also play both sides of the ball, it really diversifies the team and makes them that much better. So here is True Washington, the true freshman, in for the first time. And his shot's no good. Also, Jamal Baker, the seventh-year college basketball player, transfer from Fresno State, is in the game for the first time. Stanley will expand his range. No good with Rice, an offensive rebound. There's another seventh-year college basketball player. That's Martin going to work, and he uses off arm. Omar Stanley, one of the best in the business, and I love how he attacked early. You see that double coming early. He feels it, gets down to the baseline, kisses it off the glass. He's a guy who's capable of putting 30 up, and we talk about somebody who has improved so much during the season. Loves to be coached, loves to watch film, and it's paid a huge dividends. Here's an ISO for Joseph. And he, wow, what a block there by Buzo Abba. Snatching that from behind. Boise State now has done a really good job getting back into things and weathering the storm. Martin now, and he shuffled his feet a little bit, but he's going to get an M1. So Cam Martin, one of the best passers on the team, is playing out of the post, and there's a look at the SWAT and the rejection by Abo. He is so talented, so skilled, and this is what you have to do if you're Boise State. Continue to work the paint. They are so good at playing inside out. You don't want to get caught up in a track meet with the Lobos. Just keep pounding it in there. You're going to get some calls. And you may not, but don't give up on it. Their bigs are tough. Rebound controlled by New Mexico on the miss. And how about this for a flip, flipping of the script, Jess? Five blocks for Boise State and zero for New Mexico. This is a team that's first in the Mountain West in blocks in New Mexico, and Boise State has completely flipped it around. Well, there's a reason they've been in two straight NCAA tournaments, won championships. They got a veteran squad. They play well together, and they won't back down physically from anybody. Boy, Stanley really won the ball. He's still in a smaller player down there. Keep going inside to him. He's got the mismatch. He still has the mismatch. Yeah, he's got to come over and get it. Whiting, oh, now, oh, Jace Whiting. And that is Boise State's first lead of the game as Whiting slimes through the paint and converts the layup. On Sill, there he goes. Nope, that's all. And Boise State has got this team in jail right now, just locking them up. Jace Whiting, totally capable. They're four out, one in. The lane opens up. He just attacks, lives with the consequences, and he's coming right into your living room. Omar Stanley ready to clean up the mess if he misses. This is tremendous character by Boise State to take this lead. Everybody's stepping up, taking the crowd out of the game early. There's the post again. Double. Someone's open. Good ball moving by Boise State. Shot clock down to 10. Price to step back three. My goodness gracious. You think he put those air balls behind him by now? Looks like it to be. He's just a veteran player who forgets about the past. And it's nice to see him find his confidence again when he's knocking in that three-point shot. His team plays at another level. Crowd trying to urge its team. House a tough step back. And... Jess, you know, New Mexico now, they're taking a lot of uncharacteristic, tough shots. Boise State's defense, number one in the Mountain West, has really got them out of the rhythm. And a swat, but a foul hold before the swat. This is, I mean, they didn't start very well, but they've really recovered. And here's a look at Max Rice, just. It's just a. Excuse me. Ball screen by Martin. Look at the screen. Right oh. there, knocks Mashburn off. Then he rolls hard. There to clean it up if he misses, but these guys just know how to play together and feed off of each other. Max gets the three, but it's because Martin did his job. 
Whiting at the line where he's only five of six coming into this game and now six of seven. There are a lot of things that are going on in this game that you might not have predicted to happen if you were scouting this these two teams and looking at the notes coming in. Just been a totally different game script than one might have assumed. Well, if you're the Lobos, you want to get the ball side to side, get that continuity ball screen offense going, let everybody touch it. Try not to attack this Bronco defense on the first pass. They're very good at defending that. Let's see if they can get it swinging right here. House again, still aggressive, goes over two guys. And here's Andrew Meadow, the freshman, into the rebound for the first time. And it's one pass and a shot. The ball never changed sides. That's exactly what the Broncos want you to do. And oh, <laughs> and that's going to get the crowd very upset. A blocking foul call, but just I when I first saw that it looked like a little bit of a flop. Well, Abo has the mismatch. He goes here. Yeah, may have gotten away with lowering a shoulder. Well, that's Mountain West basketball. I think he got away with one there. He did lower that shoulder, but the crowd agrees with me, buddy. I think whenever you're positive, the crowd is going to agree with you when it comes to New Mexico getting calls. I, I like the move, though. I like the aggressiveness. Oh, my goodness, what did I just see? Martin with no regard for the New Mexico crowd. What in the world was that? Well, Martin sets the screen and gets his teammates open. And the game plan has changed. They continue to pound it inside, drive it, get to the rim, finish with authority. Boise State upright down 27 to 20. And well, New Mexico was up 10 to 2. And then Leon Rice decided to call a timeout. And ever since then, they have completely turned the game around, Just They are on a 14-2 run. They have taken the crowd out of this game. It's just been an exquisite display of momentum shifting on the part of Boise State. Well, just a very efficient timeout by Coach Rice, and he told his guys, he said, look, we got to like the three-point shot when it's there, but we have to love the paint. Boise State with 16 points in the paint, all coming in the last few minutes. That's been the game plan. If you're the Lobos, you have to tighten that end up. Here's Masperin trying to get going again. Another quick shot. Yep. Oh, top and a point blank miss. And Jess, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't get over how many tough shots that New Mexico has been taking. And a little bit too much hands on the perimeter. Well, they're 7 to 23 from the floor right now. And they only have two fast break points, so they can't get this team sped up. They can't stop them in the paint, and they're forcing shots. They've got to move it side to side, let the defense break down a little bit. I mean, this is nothing new for Boise State. They guard, and they've been doing it for years. And Whiting again with a slithery move to the rim. And remember when Roddy Anderson went out with those two fouls? Well, Chase Whiting has really, really stepped up in a big way for the Broncos. Good call, partner. He's been sensational. He's lowering his shoulder and attacking the boat backward. Ashburn had digging hard. Fish out of water, but gives it up. Washington, another tough shot. Good offensive rebound. They'll reset. There's Joseph now. They double. Dent fires away. They need this, and they got it. That's the first clean look I've seen in quite a while, Jess. Meadow around the corner. Not going to go. Rebound tipped around. Who wants it? Boise State's got it. Ooh, almost traveled. Crowd, <laughs> crowd saw it. They leave the best shooter open. Not quite. Oh, what a rebound there by JT Toppin over the top. That's what he does. Oh, what a slimy move by Dent. Well, this team thrives 
with fast break action, and they only had two points. That'll make it four. Look at this swim move. Like a running back coming right around you, uses the left hand. That is a dynamic player, and they needed that one. That move right there would make Reggie Bush and Michael Phelps proud. <laughs> Which sport did that guy play? Dent, the most crafty finisher, I think, in the Mountain West, and maybe, maybe in the country. And Dagenhart's the one who fouled him and gave him the M1. And now this crowd is right back in the game. Here's Anderson back in with two fouls. Rice rolling the dice and offensive foul. Well, if you're Anderson here, he goes just a little too quickly. Yeah. Here after Stanley set up. He's pretty exposed out there that far away from the basket. And uh, if you're a Boise State fan, you could argue that Stanley barely moved. But hey, that, that, that's been an emphasis over the last couple of years. Big men must set the screen and pretty much be a statue or they're going to get called. And Dent has been everywhere. And look at that. Backdoor slam by Joseph. There we go. Everyone, to welcome everyone who was watching Providence in Yukon, and we've got a great one here for you as the Lobos of New Mexico, 19th ranked in the country, going up against this Broncos team. They got off to a fast start. Boise State responded, and now it's New Mexico with the momentum. Stanley gambling, and good active hands there by Omar. Donovan Dent, one of the best table setters in the country. Six assists a game, none prettier than that. This is what he does. He's been attacking the paint over the last couple minutes with the dribble drive, but he's not afraid to find you if you're open. The Lobos, one of the hottest teams in the country, 92 points per game over the last five. But Boise State, they're as physical as anybody in the Mountain West. Anderson picked off the pass and was running coast to coast and was hacked on the arm. And coach, there are never really any positives to injuries, as you see Anderson on the attack, but. One thing that came out of it for New Mexico is Donovan Dent got a lot of time with the absences of Jalen House and Jamal Mashburn, and he has took that opportunity from Coach Patino and has ran with it. Patino told us before the game that he didn't think Dent was going to be a full-time starter maybe until his junior year next year when he had a chance to run the show and Mashburn and House exit the program, but... He's kind of got on a runway here earlier than Patino thought, and it has paid dividends for this team. I mean, it just makes everybody better. Sure With does. 14 assists against Utah State. And he's really the catalyst, and if you're open, you better have your hands ready. He'll put it right in your pocket. There's a switch. Master wants to take advantage. Another tough shot, and he's going to get the roll on that one. So if Master sees anyone... Six inches taller, he's going to go into his bag of tricks and try to score. You know, I get the feeling that New Mexico crowd doesn't like Tyson Dagenhart very much. He has been a thorn in the Lobo side now for a couple of years. Now, Richard Patino said before the game, we've got to contain him. He's really hurt us. And here's Stanley. Oh, just left it a little bit short. Washington hesitated. Now we'll fight. Oh, not quite. True Washington, the true freshman, getting a lot of time for Coach Patino. And, oh, wow, that should have been maybe an up and down, but officials will rule that he got the ball dislodged. And that is why they elected not to call that. And Boise State, every time that New Mexico throws a punch and the crowd throws additional punches, they have taken them and have responded. Well, they've been very disciplined at the offensive end. For everybody just joining us, they now have 20 points in the paint. That was the game plan. Dent right now is putting the team on his back. He is playing at his own pace, keeping New Mexico in this game. 
He's got 12. Stanley again on an island. Uh-oh, they lead Dagenhart. Oh, back rim no good. Stanley again hustling for the rebound. And now here come the Lobos, no numbers. They'll pull it out. Dent, he's hot. He wants to go. Oh, almost. It's been the Donovan Dent show lately. Fast breaks, assists, attacking the paint. You know what he wants to do. He wants to get downhill, and there's nothing you can do about it. Boise State still trying to hold off New Mexico here. They're up 35 to 32, and Jess, it has been the Donovan Dent show all night and all day. Well, he's a pass-first point guard, and that's why Richard Pitino loves him so much, but don't forget that he can score with anybody as well. He's already got 12 points in this game, extremely efficient, five out of seven from the floor, and the defense is set, but he just slithers around him. Gets the crowd into the game. Also has an assist to play 14 minutes. Coach Patino so good at developing point guards. And look at his last four games. He's been a big factor in this surge by New Mexico. They're finally healthy. Yeah, and just usually Donovan Dent is the one kind of running the show, setting up his teammates. But with the slow start from Jalen House, he's only got two points. You know, Mashburn got off to that quick start, but it's kind of gone cold. It's Donovan Dent. Picking and choosing his spots, and he has felt the need to score early on for this team. So he does whatever is asked for him, and as a sophomore, this is the kind of stuff you just love to see. I mean, how much is he going to get even better as he heads into next year when he takes over the show? The future is so bright here, and they are putting together a very talented squad, a lot of young players who are excellent, but they also know and they feel like they can make a deep run and march with this team. They defend, they run. Guard play is outstanding. They're in a dogfight tonight. How good is the Mountain West? Oh, it's, I mean, it's great. It's sensational. One thing to note, Tyson Dagenhart did pick up his second foul. So, Leon Rice is going to most likely have to handle the next couple of minutes without him. Dagenhart cannot pick up his third. And a great move there, getting into the paint and score. So, Max Rice has had a great game thus far for Boise State and Leon Rice has got to be proud. Oh, that one's a little bit off. Came out of his hands wrong, and he knew it. Boise State now, they're going to run. And looked like he stepped on the line. Well, Max Rice, four field goals or fewer in six of his last seven games. He's already got four in the first half in one of the toughest places to play in the country. He came out, hit the early three-point shots, softened up that defense, lowers his shoulder, and gets to the backboard. This team takes another step if he's playing well. They've got tremendous upside. Here's Amsel on the attack. Oh, beautiful mm. left-handed layup. Here's a guy who has been playing so much better ever since the lights got brighter. I think you got to put Omar Stanley in some pick and roll action. Try to get the switch and then pound it into him and let him go to work. You don't want to set this ball screen too high, though, so he picks out another foul. Take a look at the move there by Amsil. So many weapons for New Mexico. So many scores. One guy has an off night. It doesn't matter. One guy's in foul trouble. Somebody will pick him up. Shot clock in single digits. Rice says, let me pull. Rebound batted around. They'll get another chance. Oh, a nice pass there by mm. Martin, setting up the dunk by Stanley. Martin, believe it or not, is the leading assist man for Boise State. Just showing the experience that he has. Dent again and active hands by Boise State knocking it out of bounds. Well, New Mexico gambles a little bit. Martin, high post action. Two guys guarding one and Look at that ball Omar face. Stanley knows what to do with it. Just discombobulated defensively. You don't see that very often. Ashburn no good. Cooled off since that hot start. I continue to play through Stanley. Let him at least touch it. They got Joseph back out there now. Good defender. Oh, Stanley into his back. Not quite. Oh, 
Dent changing direction, swerving. Wide open Baker. I mean, Dent's just doing just about everything here. The next thing I gotta ask is, what isn't Donovan Dent doing? And now New Mexico only down by one. About four seconds separating shot clock and game clock. Broncos are going to try and work this down as much as they possibly can. Stanley. No. Oh, they got lucky there. Down to Stanley. And another slam dunk to beat the buzzer. One last gasp. Dent fires away. Not quite. And Boise State is going to head into halftime with a 41-38 lead. We are ending the simulcast on FS2. Join us over at FS1 to catch the remainder of the action. We have got a good one here, and it's only going to get better. Boise State trying to pull off the upset here as they are leading this one against 19 New Mexico, 41 to 38. And this has been really a game of momentum. We saw that New Mexico jumped out on Boise State, and then Boise State took the momentum back and they responded. And then as New Mexico got back in it, they threw a few more punches, but Boise State once again has done a great job in holding off the attack of the New Mexico Lobos in ways that most teams that come in here, when they're punched, they just go down, not Boise State. Mashburn came out hunting for shots. He's got that nice mid-range game, and Dent was the star of this first half. He was able to get downhill. It didn't matter who was defending him. Just continue to make plays. Max Rice, 11 points. What a spark he was early in this game from beyond the arc when things were a little bit out of control. He was just heaving them in, not even touching the rim. Boise State, 28 points in the paint. The Lobos not able to get out and run so far. Well, we've got a good one here. Do not go anywhere. Do not touch that dial. Big finish on the way. with you here in the pit in Albuquerque and New Mexico has had their hands full with this veteran Boise State team who have played just about as well as they wanted to coming in here in an attempt to knock off and upset the number 19th break New Mexico Lobos. Well, the Lobos eighth in the country in fast break points. You get 10 steals a game which fuels that action. No steals in the first half. Great job by the Broncos with only three turnovers. It's been a huge factor in this first half. Jalen House 0 for 5 and he does not have a single steal yet. Anderson, another pump thing. Oh, that time top and got him. And Boise State only had two turnovers in the first half. And Roddy three Anderson did more offensive fouls. Roddy Anderson, great job with dribble penetration. Look at the pump fake. And now he's got to jump into him, not away from the big. See how he fades a little bit there? You're not going to get that call. you got to go right up through the sternum. And Toppin, such an athlete that he blocked it on his right. way down. By the way, Roddy Anderson just picked up his third very, very quickly. As House knocks down the first free throw. And someone must have texted him at halftime and told him he was 0 for 5 because he immediately gets aggressive straight out of the game. Yeah, look, if you're in New Mexico, obviously that was a half that you don't want to remember, but you're still one point away from taking the lead, but it's going to be at the defensive end. They've got to force turnovers and get out and run. This crowd's been outstanding. They're on their feet to start the second half. Pablo attacking the rim. Not quite, but Stanley there to tip it in. Omar Stanley, junior from Overland Park, Kansas. Came over from St. John's. 
has had a massive impact here for Boise State. And Boise State forces another turnover. Here they go again. Rice thought about it. Another pump fake. Scoop shot is good. Max Rice continues his impressive play here for Boise State, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Top and another three-pointer. Wow. JT Toppin. That's not normally where he does his damage from. He's not leading the conference in field goal percentage because he's stroking it from outside. But that just continues the flip script, the script flipping of this entire game. Seven double doubles, seven time freshman of the week, 38 blocks. He does it all. And he's on the defensive glass, and here come the running Lobos. crafty is this kid just takes your words away uh-oh near turnover and a lot of hands there and then it is a turnover house fires away crowd was ready to explode but they'll have to save their breath and house being a little bit too aggressive JT Toppin, one of the best in the business, just living around the rim. And if he's going to step out, we said this earlier, it's just not fair. But so much pressure on the bigs, and this is what they do best. They get out and run. If they see you backpedaling, they're going to take advantage of that. Nice start for New Mexico. And Patino threw his hands up in disgust after that. Jalen House foul. That, those are the kinds of fouls he has avoided thus far most of the season. But that's a costly foul as he picks up his third. And there goes Buzo Abo from downtown. Boise State responds again. Dent probing, House firing. Not quite. And a struggle for Jalen House. A mismatch on the post for Abo. You got to get it in there to him. I don't see him. That's probably because Dent is harassing Rice and cutting off his vision. Now Dent switches on to Abo. Wants to go to work. Nice job. Oh, yeah. Oh, everything but the finish yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you do, though. Great execution. You, you got to finish that. Mashburn. Nope. The crowd is really getting a little bit restless here. It's only a three-point game, but... It almost feels like Boise State is executing at such a high level that it feels like New Mexico's down by more. Rice now will attempt to post. Sees the double. That's the guy to shoot it. Oh, just a little short. Knew he missed it. Oh, give me that. A snatch block by JT Toppin. Mass burn. Well, Jamal Mashburn saw the way that Donovan Dent was finishing around the rim, and he didn't want to be left out of the highlight picture. So he said, anything you can do, I can do just as well. Buzo, the dirt fade, no. House trying to be patient to Joseph, and he pump fakes this time, taking the page out of Boise State's script. And the foul on Stem. Well, you got to take it up strong against New Mexico. Number one in the league in block shots, number one in steals. They love to get out and run, but it starts with their defense. The first five minutes, they've been guarding. with you in the pit where Boise State has the lead against New Mexico right now and on Sunday the NASCAR season gets underway with the clash at the Coliseum and then on February 18th it's the most iconic day in all of motorsports that's the Daytona 500 Wayne The Rock Johnson serving as Grand Marshal only on Fox here's a look at the student section a big part of the 
rabidness of this New Mexico crowd, and they are nicknamed the Howl Razors. That's what they call them here. Raising Howl, 365 days, 24-7. There's Joseph at the line. He knocks down free throw number one. Nelly Jr. Joseph came over from Iona. From St. John's, he played under Richard Patino's father, Rick Patino. And now is over here with New Mexico. And that is the Lobos' first lead since about 10 minutes in the first half. Let's see if Boise State has another response in him. Digging hard with him, or Rice, excuse me, with a mouse in the house. Backs him all the way in. Martin, fish out of water. Rice is not a fish out of water. And went right through the middle of the fish tank. Again, Martin. Just a brilliant screen. The dribble handoff. He is so good at getting his teammates open. Now, Martin really playing the Draymond Green-esque role for the Boise State attack. These bigs are so skilled anymore. They play the perimeter, the high post. They can attack with the dribble. They can shoot it. Dribble handoffs. Jace Whiting back in the game. He's going to be in there a while as they try to wait as Rice is bottled up and fouled 30 feet away from the basket. And you keep your eye on Martin again, getting his teammate open. Ball goes. There's the crab dribble, right? You're collapsing this defense. It goes back out. Watch this action. There it is. You go under the screen. Martin knows how to take advantage of you. Great job getting his teammate open. Great camera work by our crew. What an environment here at the pit. And the Mountain West is just spectacular. Every night, a war. Now that time, Martin off the mark. Would you say he's a seventh year guy? Yeah, certainly playing like him. I know he at least gets out of school with a master's degree. <laughs> maybe, maybe he's get that PhD started. You know, Cam Martin was all over the place. He was actually on the Kansas team that won the title. Didn't play that year, was a redshirt. But he was a three-time Division II All-American when he was at MSSU. And Rice, that time, a deep ball pass picked off by the Lobos. And that's a couple turnovers here. As Dent, once again, oh, that time, got a little too creative. Oh, Toppin couldn't follow it. Air miss from Dent inside. And are they going to call Ansil with a hold of Omar Stanley's arm in the paint? That is exactly what they're going to call. Non-shooting foul. How about Omar Stanley already with a double-double, his fourth double-double of the year. He has to continue to get touches. Rice triple teamed, bottled up. And an excellent timeout call there by the veteran coach, Leon Rice. Max had nothing that he could do with that. And Leon Rice filled out his son. There's a look at head coach Leon Rice in his darker haired days. Learning under Mark View, the Gonzaga coach, for about 10 seasons. And well, after that, he took over Boise State in 2013. Multiple tournament appearances, and Leon Rice has done an excellent job at the helm of Boise State. Two-time Mountain West Conference Coach of the Year. And I'd say he took, he took advantage of his opportunities under Mark View. You better do that if you got that guy to learn from. Absolutely. There, there were many schools who came after him, and he had a lot of choices. And why did he choose Boise State? He said, I wanted a place and a community where I could raise my family and I could stay a long time. So it was a career decision, but it was a life decision. It's really paid off for both parties. He built this program at the defensive end. He has a fantastic team. This team could do a lot of damage in March. Earlier in the year, during that tough schedule, they were vacillating a little bit in their commitment to defense. They've figured that out, and here they are on the road against the hottest team in the country. 
And this thing's coming down to the wire. It really is a family affair for Leon Rice. He's got not one, but two sons on the team. Max Rice, obviously the first one, and Cade Rice, who is also on the roster, as Cam Martin gets going in the paint. But I'd, I'd say this, his decision paid off for him. Well, his guys know how to pump fake and power. They drill that. When you have shot blockers like New Mexico flying around, you've got to get them off of their feet and then go up. Keep your eye on Martin here, not just a passer and a screener. Watch the drop step and the pump fake to get the, there it is. You get the defense leaning, you go right up. He's been impressive in this game. Better move there by Martin, who quietly has been very, very solid for Boise State. His, his, his impact doesn't always show up in the stat sheet, but his impact is always felt. As Denton rattles in the first free throw. Yeah, speaking of solid, I mean, Denton <laughs> has been sensational in this game, and you know, Boise State made those runs. Denton kept this team together. Speaking of things that don't show up in the stat sheet, not only has Dent been scoring, he's got a couple assists, but remember during that run in the first half where he induced an offensive foul? on Boise, Boise State. Jamal Baker transferred from Fresno State in the game for the second time. He's guarding Max Rice. They double Max Rice, and the double goes away. Rice out of the post. Oh, what a shot there by Max Rice. Well, that's good defense, just better offense. I'm going to guess that he doesn't practice that shot. Just sort of invented that one. And there is another inventor in his bag, Jamal Masburn, who hasn't stopped attacking. Hasn't had the most efficient night. 11 points on 5 for 11, but he is still Jamal Masburn Jr. Boise State holding on to a two-point advantage. Rice, good pass to Martin. Bottled up. Five on the shot clock. Somebody's got to shoot. Martin. And off the rim, no good. Neto coming to get a rebound, but he likely jumped over the back of a logo to get it, and he's going to pick up a foul. And here is Max Rice in the post. A little hook shot. Nice. Boise State leading 55 to 53, just about halfway through this second half. And there's a look at starting center for the Lobos, Nelly Jr. Joseph, who prior to coming over to New Mexico, spent three years at Iona under Rick Pitino. And then after stellar years at Iona, came over here to New Mexico where he is now playing under Richard Pitino. And the story behind him is he had an excellent game last year, scored 21 points here in the pit for New Mexico as a member of Iona. And Richard Bertino saw him play and decided, you know, I kind of like that guy. And if he wants to come over here, Pops, I'll take him. So when Rick, Rick Bertino went over to St. John's, already had a starting big man. So he chose to come over to New Mexico and is getting time and his impact is felt. Here come the Lobos in a two-point hole. Dent has been somewhat quiet since his explosive first half. It's been Masper and pull-up mid-range shot. Oh, chasing down the offensive rebound is Onso, but then he turns it over. Here's Rice on a run out, and he scores. So, Jess, that's one of those unfortunate plays where you hustle, you get an offensive rebound, and then you turn it over. Oh, no. Whiting hit the floor. Oh, and Toppin now Digging hard on the floor, and another timeout, and Leon Rice didn't exactly look like he wanted Digging hard to burn that timeout. They'll keep possession, but the look on Rice was, ah, might need that timeout, Jess. Well, speaking of Rice, well, that's 20 big ones for Max. Eight of 12 from the floor, four of eight from downtown. Managing his team, playing with so much confidence. This is a veteran team. I, Tell today at shoot around, they were not afraid of this moment in any way, shape, or form. Just another game. New Mexico has been so dominant. 
The Boise State defense always travels. And here's a look at the Mountain West standings here as both teams right now in position to try and take over second place here. Both barely trailing Utah State. By the way, I mean, there might not be a more impressive story in the Mountain West than Utah State. Ryan Odom left, took just about everyone with him. They wiped the entire program clean. And somehow they're leading the Mountain West Conference. Well, I called several of their games at the Cayman Islands Classic. They won that tournament. We did. We had no idea who their guys were. And for those guys to be able to put that together the way they have is truly impressive. But this entire league from top to bottom, every night is a battle. Leon Rice told us so many veteran guards in this league. Dent stripped Boise State on the other end. And now Max Rice will pick up his second foul reaching the perimeter and going back to that possession right before the timeout Leon Rice the reason why he had his hands over his head as Denko scores now Boise State only has one more timeout to work with for the rest of the game well, that's an interesting story to keep an eye on especially if this game remains close it's just hard to fall the kid for yep. getting on the floor, right? Coming up with a 50-50 ball. Rice pulls back for three, and it's right down Main Street. One shooting slump. <laughs> Here's a pull-up by House, and he responds. And that's a great sign for him. Two points in the first half, trying to get going in the second half. Now he's going to try and harass Chase Whiting in the backcourt. Got to get it over. Good job by Whiting. Oh, that's a tough shot by Rice. Oh, that's an ill-advised shot by Max Rice. Alba will get the rebound, and Rice a little better shot that time. <laughs> Max Rice. Oh, he checked there. Got <laughs> it right say, back. It's his night. Say. Dent, probing, house, faking, driving, swerving, leaving it short. Now they're going to have numbers. Will they see the open man? No, oh, they didn't quite get there. Abel's going to take off, and it's going to draw a foul. Oh, bodies crashing and hitting the floor. Yeah, Max Rice feeling it. Just launches one from the corner, doesn't draw anything, but Abo, right place, right time. Don't give up on the play. Max Rice has been unstoppable. Broncos fans know he's capable of this. This is what he's been doing his entire career. Just been a little bit off. He hasn't lost his confidence. Number 12 is going to be a big factor down the stretch here. That is career high against this team. Back at home, 30 points. Seems that maybe the next time Max Rice has a shooting slump, he can just ask the Mountain West to schedule New Mexico, so he can get right. Pablo at the line. Bricks the first. And that's a rare miss from Pablo. He's eighth in the Mountain West in free throw percentage. Shooting at about 76%. Boise State, a four point lead. Every point matters here as we're under the 10 minute mark. It's that one. How long can Boise State hold down this team? Anderson trying to force Dent to his left. Dent gets under and oh my goodness. Donovan Dent must have been watching Kyrie Irving highlights before he stepped into this court today because his layup package is gonna get him some 2K points. Abo. One move, goes the other way, and right back out. Buzo Abo working under the three-point arc. Abo with the height advantage. He knew he was going to take that shot. And Anderson, if that's on him. Donovan Dent, you're exactly right. Kyrie-esque, the spin move, the hesitation, the hostage dribble. I mean, it's just video game level stuff all night long. And then he's not passing this one. Look at the height advantage. 
high IQ play, Kevin Durant fade. The stars are stepping up late. So that foul was not on Anderson. That was on Dagenhardt. So Anderson will avoid picking up his fourth. That's Dent again. Over and over and over and over. Oh, Anderson going quickly, coast to coast. Oh, it's swatted by Joseph. Coming over the top, wiping it off. LeBron James style. A huge momentum swinging block there by Joseph. Dent again, over and over again. And he's going to be fouled. Joseph, 31 blocks on the season, and you think you've got an easy one. And he just swats it out of there. Here's the chase down. You're exactly right. And then Dent, I don't know. They, they know he's coming at him, but they can't do anything about it. Fouls on Rice, picks up his third. I mean, you say, look, you got to force him left. But he goes left. Obviously, he can get downhill right. And maybe you, maybe you blitz him the next time just to get it out of his hands. Donovan Dent up to 24 points. Make it 25. That ties his career high. Hart now is back in the game. And remember, he's got three fouls. New Mexico, harassment on defense. Stanley on an ISO. Sneaking behind the defense. Oh, and he gets that one to go. That's the basketball IQ of these forwards for Boise State. And that's something that has really helped Leon Rice's score this year. Nashburg for three. We're all tied now, folks. And Tyson Degenhardt, known to take over games, so skilled. Oh, and they got lucky. That was a breakdown in defense. They left one of the best shooters in the league open, but they dodged the bullet. And speaking of shooters, Jamal Mashburn Jr. from distance, tying it up. Well, they're going to have to rename this place the Barbecue Pit after this game is over because two guys here, Max Rice and Dent, have been absolutely cooking meals all day right here in the backyard grill down here in Albuquerque. Rice with 25, Dent with 25. It's just been a cookout down here in New Mexico. Well, Max Rice is scoring at all three levels. And that's a wonderful sign for the Bronco fans. And then Donovan Dent from the opening tip, he's been a star. I mean, he just finds a way to get his shoulder down and get to the rim. These guys are gonna be critical down the stretch, rebounding the number one key over the last seven minutes. Shot selection big as well. And remember, coming down the stretch here, keep an eye on it. New Mexico has three timeouts, but Boise State only has one. And they also have seven fouls, which means that New Mexico will be in the bonus. That could loom large. House fires away. Can't quite get it going. Boise State shows a 1-3-1 right there coming out of the timeout to blow up that play that the Lobos worked on. So the chess match continues, but great strategy by Leon Rice to take the advantage at that end of the court. House 1 of 11 from the floor. Rice fires away again, and it's good! What did this man have in his Wheaties this morning? He is now tied his career high. Here's the 1-3-1 one, one again. Two-guard front, side to side. Lobs are open. Another successful strategy. Here's Rice again. Uh-oh. It's up and it is old. No good, but Bozo's on the boards. Richard Patino might want to use a timeout here. This 1-3-1 one, one has confused 
his Lobos. And looks like that's what's going to happen. And great call there, Jess. That's exactly what Patino wants. He sees the way this is going. And uh, Max Rice has been the ultimate Lobo killer. And even when Rice misses, which hasn't been very much, there's Buzo right there to clean up the mess. Coming out of the timeout, the 1-3-1. One, one. It takes away that man-to-man -man offense. Blows up those screens, and Richard Pitino felt like he had the wrong lineup in there. He wants to go four out, one in. Leon Rice stayed with it. They got the stop. They got the turnover. Able to get out. Max Rice playing at a different level right now. Max Rice, <laughs> early on when he had those air balls, he was being harassed relentlessly by the New Mexico crowd. Well, I think he took that personally. You gotta watch the baseline here. Mashburn's gotta work the baseline against this 1-3-1. That's one of the week three times in a row it's worked. Yeah, Rice now on defense. And you were right, Jess, that is something that Leon Rice said he might go to and pulled it out of the exact time he needed to. But now here he goes to New Mexico. Live ball turnovers, house inside. Wow, that's been the theme of the night here for New Mexico. And for Jalen House. Fighting is double. Here's Dagenhart. And again, Tyson Dagenhart, known for taking these games over. It's back-to-back -back turnovers. Great job by the Lobos. Well, this 1-3-1, one, one, not to harp on it, but it's forced three turnovers. New Mexico stagnant, just pounding the air out of the ball. That's easy to guard. Mashburn not deep enough in that corner, just soft with the pass. That's really been the key over the last minute. Let's see if New Mexico can solve that. Does Boise State stay in it or they go back to man? Looks like they're going back to the 1-3-1 one, one again. Well, if it ain't broke, don't there fix it. There it is. And there's a wide open three. Oh, oh, no. That's a good shot. Yep, that's a good shot. But I'm still who's been shooting it at a very high clip in conference play. 24% on the season. That's deceptive. Shooting at about 35% in conference play. Megan Hart is in ISO land against Joseph. Shot clock is winding down. One on one. Goes to the right hook and can't get it, but he's fouled. Joseph throwing his hands up like, what did I do? I've never seen an official change a call. Well, Tyson wasn't going to pass that. I mean, nope. they loaded up on him. And he was going to put it up or draw the foul, and he drew the foul. I'm not sure Joseph didn't drop his hand. It looked pretty vertical from here, but he got the whistle. Megan Hart gives him a six-point lead. Joseph picked up his third foul. Tyson Megan Hart in the top ten, not less than free throw percentage. Knocks down two clutch free throws. You know, there's plenty of time left here for New Mexico, but you, you get the feeling that it's kind of now or never for them. They've got to go. And Dent, oh my goodness, once again. Well, you don't great. have to tell him when to go. Great strategy the last couple times to get dribble penetration. Last time they kicked it to the baseline for a three. It was a wide open shot. It didn't go. And both times right there, they just dribbled, drew a crowd, collapsed the defense. That's, that was really effective. That's wide open. And Abo knocks down the three-point shot. And Jess, you saw right there, it looked like they were trying to fluster Anderson, the young guard. And he made the right basketball play. And unfortunately, as Dent again, relentlessly, just adding to his career high. But that's not a good idea, as timeout taken, to leave Abo the best shooter open in the corner. Boise State leads this one with time winding down here. We're under four minutes to go, 
to 71, and they've been scoring right in the heart of the defense all night long. Well, this is a veteran team, even in a hostile environment. They've stayed with the game plan. They've stayed disciplined. That's led to 46 points in the paint, not forcing things, attacking, cleaning up the misses. The guard play has been outstanding, and they've controlled the pace of this game. Haven't made this attract me. Remember, New Mexico, 92 points per game over the last five, and this is what the Broncos do. They're used to tight games. And, Jess, we don't have a stat for this, but I'd love to know how many of those paint points came off those pump fakes they were rehearsing and shooting. A lot of them. Play against a shot-blocking team like this. You've got to use that now. Got to handle this pressure defense. The logo's really good. They'll trap you. They'll run from behind, chase you down. But Max Rice tonight played a brilliant point guard position. Well, Rice is a sixth-year college basketball player. And the ball's going to be in his hands, you figure, a lot coming down the stretch. Shot clock is winding down here, though. Does Max Rice see it? Max Rice, pump fakes, steps up and... Are you kidding me? I mean, Max Rice has got to be public enemy number one for this Lobos team and crowd. As Mashburn tries to respond, back rim no good. Offensive rebound by Toppin. In and out. And House body language there kind of hanging his head a little bit. He has been frustrated by his one for 13 shooting performance this game. Dent will try to harass Max Rice. And now Boise State's got its largest lead of the game. And it comes with 2.18 to go. Anderson now trying to handle the pressure. Big possession here for Boise State. Who else? Max Rice a fade away, and that ball did not hit the rim. And it's going to be a, looks like a shot clock violation. Well, this is good defense, and Max Rice <laughs> just launches a little Luka Doncic. What a shot, what a performance. And there's just nothing you can do about a shot like that. Dan, oh, that time can't get it to go. Max Rice has a very unique shooting form, but, you know, and Leon Rice talked about it. When he first came to Boise State, there was some talk about possibly altering a jump shot, and Leon Rice said, no, 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 we're not gonna do that. If it's working for him, it's working for him. Don't mean to touch it. As Donovan Dent fouls Max Rice near the Lobo midcourt logo. And Dent frustrated with the call, but clearly a foul. One more foul until they shoot free throws. Boise State trying to now milk the clock here. House getting aggressive on Anderson. Anderson doing a good job handling the pressure. Oh, now, and as soon as I say that, of course as soon as I say that, he turns it over. Leon Rice trying to calm him down on the sideline. Well, this is what Jalen House does. He's just a pass defensively. Such quick hands. Mm. In and out again. And now it's Boise State is in prime time position. And now House has got a foul. And that's going to be a one and one. They're going to send the young point guard, Roddy Anderson, to the line. Well, great job by House, forcing the turnover. Excellent shot. Just rims it. You can't believe that one didn't go down. And a smart play there by Jalen House, knowing the scouting report, because Roddy Anderson is a 50% free throw shooter. That's the guy to foul if you're trying to come up with an extra possession. Let's see if he can knock down some clutch free throws. And there it is. There's the miss they needed. House moving quickly. Dent, extra pass, mass burn for three. He can't get it. House goes up with it, and he's fouled. So excellent job by Jalen House on the offensive glass, and he's going to draw a foul. And once that's again, against Anderson, who picks up four. Yeah, sorry, partner. Once again, they're moving the ball extremely well. Great job on the fast break. Come up with a wide-open three. There's a lid on the basket. Such an athletic play by House. To get that up on the rim, he stops the clock. You knock in the free throws, and then can you can set up your pressure. Try to steal the first or second pass. 
then you're going to have to foul if you're Boise State. You've got to be careful. You cannot expect the call to protect the basketball. Get your elbows out. Be really strong with it. Leon Rice puts Jace Whiting into the game to likely make sure they take care of the basketball here. Anderson, a couple turnovers. Leon Rice trying to shore up everything as it's a seven-point game. They get to Buzo. Gets through the trap. Good job. And there's a foul on Rice. So now, desperate times calling for desperate measures here, and they've got to hope that Max Rice, an 80% free throw shooter, misses one here. Max goes still in the bonus. But it'll still be a one and one. And now, Jess, it's it's really getting really getting late here. And I'm not, and I'm not just talking about the tip off time and the game time for New Mexico. Tallman collected Max Rice at the free throw line. That pushes the lead to eight here with one minute to go. Rolls in the second free throw. Does New Mexico have any magic left? That's the guy has the magic as Den goes right to the basket and scores. And Richard Bertino is going to call one last time out, and it will be his last. Boise State trying to finish off what you could call an upset, but Boise State is right behind New Mexico in the Mountain West, which, as we've mentioned many times, Mountain West is one of the be best basketball leagues in the country, especially when it comes to depth and the amount of good teams. In the NFL, they call it any given Sunday, but in the Mountain West, any team is capable of beating any team any day. There's New Mexico. They've got some tough games here coming up. Wyoming, which is never an easy place to win. And they've got UNLV at home. A lot of talent on that team. And they have to go at Nevada and at San Diego State. And then they've got to play Colorado State, who was at one time a top a 13th ranked team in the country. So this is, <laughs> this is teeth cutting time here for New Mexico. Uh, no question. I mean, that's just an incredibly difficult schedule. I would say. The entire league is like that. I mean, Wyoming is surging. Colorado State did so much damage in the non-conference. Stevens is spectacular. Every single night is a battle. What's surprising about this one, and look, if you've coached long enough, you've had big leads late in the last minute and lost them, so you know, as the Broncos do, and you know what happened to, with Wyoming the other night in Colorado State. Anything can happen, so you fight to the finish, but... Rice is trapped in the corner, and he got the timeout right in front of the New Mexico bench. They're going to try and make the case to the referees that Rice stepped out of bounds. But they do get the timeout, and that is Leon Rice's last one. Again, the big surprise is that the Lobos have just been blowing everybody out. You know, 92 points per game. So Mike Burns, the defensive coordinator for the Broncos, give him a ton of credit. They controlled tempo, their pick and roll defense was excellent, and they forced a lot of top, tough shots out of the Lobos, and they were able to keep possession of the ball. They were very good about not turning the ball over, so the Lobos couldn't get out and run and get those easy baskets they've been feasting off of. And Leon Rice's team is 12-1 and one when they were leading at the half this season, and we were wondering if that was going to stand the test of New Mexico's time with the explosiveness of their offense and the opportunisticness of their defense. But, you know, we were talking about this with, you know, some of the, the Boise State staff and even some of the fans here. If there was one team that could quell the Lobos, it's this team, this Boise State team, who have been excellent on the road. And I guess that's the way that, that this has gone. Boise State is a team that believes in itself. Leon Rice has them knowing what they're doing. We asked him if he was going to change the game plan. He said, nope, we're just going to have to change or do what we do. And they have done what they've done at an elite level. And they're about 53 seconds away from knocking off the 19th ranked team in the country. And a foul Max Rice again. 
and he's going to march his way back to the free throw line. There. Max Rice is two for two. How about Jace Whiting? 19 minutes, no turnovers on the road against this defense. He's been impressive, and even right there, ball fakes, made the right decision. Can't say enough about how he's played. And that goes in for Rice, who is just adding to his career night. Second year in a row that Max Rice has tortured this team with career highs. And you know, that, 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 that solid play from Whiting started when Anderson got in foul right. early in the first half. Second free throw good by Max Rice. And he is now up to 34 points. And oh, look at that. Great bucket there by Jalen House, but unfortunately, Jess, it may come a little bit too late. Well, it's such a smart play by House. He just never stops. Incredible stamina. Obviously hasn't played his best, but he doesn't come down and launch one from three that has a little chance of going in. He attacks the rim, and then the Broncos, you, you can't foul in that situation. This is the one thing you cannot do. Stop the clock and give free points. And correction, Max Rice up to 35 points. I mean, this game is not over. With the way they can turn you over, they don't need to foul on the first pass here. Try to get at least two passes so they can steal one. Yeah, there's a deflection. That's yeah, smart. That's smart. And did they get the foul on Jace Whiting to make him go to the line? Yes, they did. It's going to be a two-shot foul as now New Mexico has entered double bonus territory. Whiting is at the free throw line where... He's one for two. Only attempted six free throws coming into the night. Yeah, this is big. Yep. Two possession game right now, Jess. Need both of these right now. Hey! And he got it. And, and all night, Jess, you have seen the body language of Boise State. They never, ever seem to be racked. Well, you got Stanley, Degenhart. Abo, obviously Max Rice with a career night. They have some stars. They have some guys who are physical, versatile. I mean, Abo, he's one of the best players I've seen play this year. I, it's just amazing to be courtside. You look at his length, his toughness, his defense, the way he posts guards up. And Jess, there was a lane violation oh, no. there. Yeah, <laughs> and that's a huge lane violation if Whiting makes this. I thought I saw them move early, and the refs indeed called it. So now it's an eight-point game. Dent again, and wild shot, and it's controlled by Stanley. And now that may just about do it, barring an unforeseen absolute collapse. They get it over. Abel's going to pull this out. And now it looks like Patino is going to raise the white flag. I'll tell and you what. Impressive. Uh, tip, tip your hat to the Broncos. Congratulations to the Boise State fans. I don't think a lot of people around the country thought they could come in here and do this. And New Mexico's been playing so well. They'll regroup and they'll get back at it. And there you have it. So in excellent fashion, Boise State marches into the pit 37 feet under the street and knocks off the number 19th ranked New Mexico. Mexico Lobos right here in one of the hardest places to win in the entire country and give Max Rice his flowers a career high 35 points he was an assassin all night long had murder on his mind and he destroyed the Lobos tonight Jess any final thoughts on this game and we've gotten a, a, it's a massive treat today well, we told you the Broncos over the last three years, number one in the league in road wins. They are not afraid to come into hostile environments. They defend, they rebound, they have stars. And what about Max Rice? He was brilliant. The best player in the country tonight comes out of his slump and in a big way. 35 big ones, 7 of 14 from downtown. What a superstar. He outdueled Donovan Dent, who had 31 of his own. That's going to do it here from the pit. And... 
for Jess Settles and our entire crew. I'm Derek Clark, signing off here from Albuquerque with our final score, Boise State 86, the 19th ranked Lobos 78. This has been a presentation of the Fox Sports Network, your home for all your college basketball action. Thank you for tuning in and have a great rest of your night.